House Com Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler has taken a much more aggressive posture towards a potential impeachment or drafting of articles impeachment. Now, today, we get in sharper focus what one of the primary targets of that investigation is, and that is potential obstruction of justice. The two subpoenas today went to Corey Lewandowski, the former campaign manager of President Trump and a former top White House aide, Rick Dearborn. The reason why? Well, Wolf, you mentioned it. They are both featured prominently in the Mueller report related to the impeachment section as it pertains to the Mueller investigation. In one part of the Mueller report, or at least according to the Mueller report, President Trump directly dictated to Corey Lewandowski a message he wanted him to take to then Attorney General Jeff Sessions, calling for him to scale back the Mueller investigation. About a month later, President Trump checked in with Corey Lewandowski to see if it had been done. Lewandowski went to Rick Dearborn, Jeff Sessions' former chief of staff, asked him to deliver the message. Now, the message was never delivered, neither by Corey Lewandowski or by Rick Dearborn, but now you know and now you see why Democrats are so interested in their public testimony. The subpoenas themselves, Wolf, asked for the two individuals to come testify publicly on September 17th. Keep in mind, many of the subpoenas rolled out by the committee up to this point have essentially been ignored or blocked by the White House on grounds of executive privilege. That's where Lewandowski's subpoena is so important. Corey Lewandowski never actually served in the White House. Many Democrats have been urging Chairman Jerry Nadler to issue this subpoena because they believe this will be their best opportunity to actually get public testimony from somebody involved in the investigation. The question, though, becomes, will anything actually come of it? Corey Lewandowski's lawyer put out a statement talking about the fact that he has testified before multiple congressional committees. He went and spoke to the special counsel asking why it was important to bring him in again. Republicans on the committee said it was, quote, a waste of time and money. But clearly, Wolf, Democrats continuing to ramp up that obstruction investigation that may lead to the drafting of articles of impeachment. Phil, stand by. Uh, Caitlin is uh, with us. What are you uh, hearing, Caitlin, about the White House plan to try to fight the subpoena? Well, Wolf, they were expecting the subpoena to be issued. So behind the scenes, they've been having what I'm told are preliminary discussions about potentially invoking executive privilege to limit Corey Lewandowski from complying with this congressional subpoena. Now, we've seen the White House take this route before with these subpoenas with people like Don McGahn, Hope Hicks. But this would be the White House trying to invoke executive privilege over a conversation that Corey Lewandowski has had with the president, even though he's never held any kind of title in the White House or even in the administration overall. He's only been an informal advisor to the president since the 2016 campaign. So that's why there are questions about how exactly the White House would pr proceed with trying to invoke privilege over Corey Lewandowski. Now, Phil just laid out what exactly it is that Democrats want to talk about. And those are the conversations that the White House doesn't want Corey Lewandowski answering questions about two House Democrats. And so we're seeing some skepticism that this route might actually work because, of course, executive privilege exists so the president can have confidential conversations with people who were working in the highest levels of his government, something that, of course, Corey Lewandowski hasn't done. Now, they haven't made a final decision that this is the way they're going to try to go forward, but it is something that we are told today is still being considered inside the West Wing Wolf.